What's up guys, welcome back to the video. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to set up a shared team folder between you and another individual so that all your footage syncs to their computer so that they can edit remotely. So the first step that we're gonna do is set up your editor with an actual user account on your Synology NAS. So to do that, we're first gonna go over into the Synology NAS system and then we're gonna go over to the main menu setting. In here, we're gonna to go to control panel and then we're gonna go over to users and group. And then right here at the top, you'll see an option to create a new user. So click on that button and then you'll be greeted with this new user creation wizard. From here, you just wanna fill out their information. So I'm gonna put in Joe, and then we're gonna put in the editor's email. So from here, you can set up a custom password. Typically what I do is set up a generated random password. So clicking on that button, it'll just generate a password and click apply. And then from here, you wanna click on this first box so that they actually get an email. And then also you wanna make sure that you click on display users password in notification mail. This is going to allow them to log into the account once we go into the process of setting this up on their computer. Moving forward, we're just going to click next. We're going to leave these boxes the same and then we're going to click next again. And then we're just going to click next through all these other prompts as well. And then when we get to the last step, we're going to hit done. And now you've created your editor, a user on your Synology NAS. Now from here, we're actually going to stay in this control panel and go right over here to shared folders. From here, just like before, you will see a button that says create at the top. We want to click that button and then we want to click the first option that says create shared folder. Now from here, we want to name the folder. So for me today, I'm going to name it editor and then Joe mama. We're going to leave all of these the same and then we're just going to hit next. We're going to hit next. We're going to hit next and keep hitting next. And now from here, you're actually going to see that you have your user right here. So right there, you want to give your user access. So we want to click read and write, and then we're going to hit apply. Now the last step that you want to do is go over to the main menu. Then you want to go under Synology drive admin console. And then from here, you want to go to team folders. Now, even though you actually created the team folder, you can see that it's not yet enabled. So click on the folder and hit enable. Now from here, you want to set this number to whatever you desire. For me, I do three, so it doesn't fill up my drive. From there, just click OK. Now from here, you're done. Now it's time to go over to the editor's computer and set up their computer to receive files. Hey, what's up, guys? My name's Joe Mama. I edit for Joe, Social Vibes. And today I'm going to be walking you through the rest of the process of how to set this up on your computer. Let's get this over with. So first we're going to go into our email and from here we have the email from Joe, my boss. This is the information I need to connect to Joe's NAS so that I can get the folder on my computer. Next we want to go over to Synology Download Center and put in the information of Joe's NAS. So from here we're going to match up the numbers to make sure that we download the software that we need. Now once we do that it's going to give us the options to download whatever we want. So going over to the desktop utilities we want to download the Synology Drive client. Now once we click on this it'll give us the option to select whatever we want for our machine so today I'm using a Mac from here you just want to install the app like any other regular program from here we're going to fill in the information from the email and you don't want to do this entire link all you want to do is the numbers in the middle of the HTTP colon forward slash forward slash and right after the other colon everything in between there is what you want to copy over now after you click next you're going to get this setting right here you want to click sync task and then from here you want to select which team folder you have access to which should only be one unless they gave you access to more than one you want to click ok and then you want to set wherever you want the desired folder to be so for me i'm going to set it to movies click done so now i'm all set up any files in this folder will sync over to joe's drive and also to his computer if he has a team folder set up on there as well so i hope you guys found this video helpful if you guys have any additional questions, please feel free to comment below. And until next time, if you're interested in some editing tips and tricks, then I recommend that you check out this video right over here.